Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over how to expand binomials using Pascal's triangle. This is part two of our multi-part series. Okay, so what if we are asked to expand a binomial, expand 2x minus 3y raised to the fourth power using Pascal's triangle. Okay. Now before we get started, there are some things you want to keep in mind. Um, so let's recall the following facts. First, when you have x, y raised to the nth power, this can be simplified into x to the n, y to the n. This is known as the power of a product property of exponents. Something else you want to keep in mind is that when you raise um, negative or negative number to an even power, the resulting sign will be positive. If you raise a negative number to an odd power, the resulting sign will be negative. All right, so let's keep these points in mind. All right, so back to the original problem, we have 2x minus 3y raised to the fourth power. Now, what you want to keep in mind is that since um, the quantity 2x minus 3y is raised to the fourth power, we're going to um, create Pascal's triangle to the fourth row, okay? So we will generate Pascal's triangle up to row four. Okay, let's keep that in mind. So let's start with the generation of um, Pascal's triangle. Remember, Pascal's triangle starts from row zero, okay? So for row zero, we have one. For row one, we have one, one. For row two, you generate terms in Pascal's triangle by placing one at the ends and then you add the two top numbers to generate the bottom middle number, one, two, one. Row three, we have one at the ends, and then you add one plus two, three, two plus one, three. For row four, we have one at the ends, one plus three is four, three plus three is six, one plus three is four. Okay, so this is the fourth row of Pascal's triangle that we're going to be using to expand our binomial, okay? So what we're going to do is extract these coefficients and orient them vertically, okay? So we're gonna have one, four, six, four, one. All right, so we're multiplying two x uh, minus 3y, we're raising that to the fourth power. So we're going to take the first term, 2x, um, and put it into its parentheses. So 1 times 2x, 2x, attach 2x to every number that we derive from fourth, the fourth row of Pascal's triangle. And then we're going to take the second term along with the sign negative 3y, negative 3y, just multiply each row with negative 3y, okay, negative 3y, and negative 3y. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, apply the powers to each of the terms that we just wrote down. Now, what's going to happen is that for 2x, um, since it's the first term, it starts with all the power and descends all the way to no power. So we have four, three, two, one, zero. The reverse happens with three, negative three y. 
For negative 3y, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? So now we'll proceed to multiply each row to generate the terms of the expanded form of this quantity. All right, before we get started, you want to remember that when you raise a term to the zeroth power, that term becomes 1, so this is going to be 1. And this term right here, 2x to the zeroth power, will be 1 also. All right, now let's multiply the first row. 1 times 2x to the fourth, this is going to become 1 is a multiplicative identity. We could drop that off. Now, using the power of a product property we talked about earlier, this will be 2 to the 4th times x to the 4th. And this is a 1 right here, okay, times 1. 2 to the 4th power is 2 times 2, which is 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16. So this will be 16x to the 4th. The next row, we have 4 times 2 to the 3rd power times x to the 3rd. Now, something you want to keep in mind is that you always want to place the sign in front. Since minus is raised to an odd power, the negativity remains, so just pull it to the front. And then we have times 3 to the first times y. Now, let's multiply this out. We can do our work, scratch work on the side here. We have 4 times 2 to the third is 8 times 3. Okay, so 24. I'm sorry, 32 times 3 would give us 96. So multiply all the numbers first. So number times number times number. Multiply all that together. Remember, it's minus 96. And then attach the variables x to the third y. Okay. Next, we have 6 times. This power is applied to 2 and x, so 6 times 2 to the second power times x to the second power times, now, this negative is raised to an even power, so minus times minus is plus, the negativity is gone. We'll then raise 3 to the second power and y to the second power. If we expand this, as well work on the side here, we'll have... Um, 6 times 4 times 3 squared is 9, okay? 6 times 4 is 24. If you multiply that by 9, you get 216. So what do we have here? We have um, 216 as a result of multiplying the constants. And then we have attached the variables x squared, y squared. Now, do you notice what's happening with the signs? This is positive, negative, positive. We have an alternation of signs here. So you want to keep that in mind. When you, Whenever you have a minus between um, binomials that you're raising to a power, when you expand it, you will have an alternation of signs. Okay? All right, let's move on to the next term, the fourth term. We have four times... 2 raised to the first power times x raised to the first power times this negative is raised to the odd power. So the negativity remains. Bring that to the front. 3 to the third times y to the third, applying the power of a product property of exponents. Let's expand that. What is 4 times 2 times 3 to the third, which is 27? 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 27 is 216. So we have negative 216xy to the third. Now the last term, we just have 1 times uh, negative is raised to an even power, so it's gone. 3 to the fourth times y to the fourth. If you raise 3 to the 4th power, it's just simply 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. You can write that as uh, 9 times 9, which equals 81. Okay, so here we have 81y to the 4th. 
So these are the terms that um, are the expansion of 2x minus 3y to the fourth power. So let's write down our final answer, 2x minus 3y quantity raised to the fourth power is 16x to the fourth minus 96x cubed y plus 216x square y square minus 216xy to the third plus 81y to the fourth. Okay, so there goes your final result. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your study of um, expansion of um, polynomials of higher degree do give us a thumbs up your positive feedback is very valuable to us if you have any questions or comments about the contents of this tutorial just place it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to support you don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other tutorials such as this more clips tools and support um, services are available at mathgotserve.com thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day goodbye